All right, day four bonus time. And this is gonna be one of my favorite subjects because it seems like it's like counterproductive from everything else we talked about, but you know what? I think this has been one of the game changers for me and my business. Um, and it's, first off, before we get to what that is, I do want to preface this by saying you need to be tracking everything in your business. Everything. Like how many people you talked to that day, how many people you followed up with, all of that stuff. It needs to be tracked every single day. And that leads us into today, making a no list. You might be asking yourself, why would I want a list of all the people that rejected me? All the people that said no. Because you guys have to remember, those people don't, didn't say no. They said not right now. Right now, maybe now isn't the best time. Maybe October, November, December. Maybe it's not the best time. But I bet you any money, if you continue inviting them, if you continue staying consistent on social media, if you continue to follow up with them every single month, I promise you, eventually that no is going to turn into a yes. So, me personally, guys, I make a goal for 100 no's a month. And I'm not joking by that. I actually have lists right here where you guys can actually see. I write up every single person's name that I start a conversation with throughout the month. This one got all the way to 134. I don't know how many of these people right off the bat because it's in a different notebook um, that actually committed and said yes. But I do know that at least I tried to invite 134 people to my challenge group. At least I try to start all these brand new conversations with them. The moment that they say no, they go into another another document or another folder or a notebook that I have and cannot find right off the top of my head as I record this. Um, but they go into another notebook where I write down their name and then the following month I'll reach back out and I'll invite them. You have to remember, especially as a new coach, that it takes time to build up your credibility. People are waiting to see you fail. People are waiting to see if you're serious. They're waiting to see if you're gonna stick around, if you're gonna to commit to this, or if you're gonna get a couple notes and then go away. They want somebody that they can count on, somebody that has proved these products work, somebody that is going to push through all the hard times, and that are a no, if they get no for an answer, they're gonna find somebody else that needs them instead. So what I'm encouraging you guys to do is to start a no notebook, okay? Start a no notebook, and, every, and you can, guys can label them by month, just like I do here. Um, you can play with by the month at the top. And what I want you guys to do is that every single conversation you start throughout the entire month, whether if, if they tell you no or if the conversation just ends, add them to the list. See how many you can get every single month because guess what? The longer that contact list is, the better off you're going to be for future months. There is a delay in this business. There's a two to three month delay. So all the people that told you no, they're going to come back, guys. They're going to come back as long as you're consistent, you're persistent, and you're still there waiting for them whenever they return. Because guess what? If you decide to give up after a couple no's, when they're ready in a couple months, they're going to go to somebody else because you're not there anymore. So that's what I encourage you guys to do. Um, post a picture of your no notebook or post, or I guess, to start writing down some names or some thoughts about this and what your thoughts are on that. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Have a good rest of your day.